Welcome back, guys. I hope you had a blast last night, because I sure did. It was super fun. Welcome to 2017. Today is Sunday, and we have a live stream from 2 to 3, which probably won't take the whole hour, because we're going to do a very simple technique. It is a Z-fold ATC card, and it looks like this. So when it's all folded up, it's the size of an ATC card, which is 2 and a half by 3 and a half inches, but when you open it up, it becomes a little card where you could put in an extra sentiment or um, whatever you want to do. You could put some washi tape around here and then close it up. And this will also fit in a pocket letter if you're a pocket letter junkie. These are super cute to put in there. I want to give out a great big thank you to Deanna. And her last name is Baird. So Deanna Baird, thank you so much for the idea for this. It's a fantastic little card, super fun, quick to put together, which is why it probably won't even take us an hour to do this. So I want to take a quick moment to say hello to people who are here. Kathy's here. Mayuki is here. Diana. And Tough Cody. <laughs> she says, woohoo, so glad 2016 is out of here. I'm not so sure if I am. I 2016 was a big year of growth for me, and... Um, Plus, it was a, a long year of uh, pretty great health for me, so I'm glad for that. Cheers to everyone. I brought out my tiny little, uh, what do you call this, embossing? I don't even know what they call it, to be honest. I have a teeny tiny one. This is a Martha Stewart embossing um, thing. And then what I normally use is my great big humongous one, which you usually see, and that's this one. But it's so big, I add out my teeny tiny one because we won't need anything bigger than that. Oh, change the title. I'm so notorious for not changing the title, aren't I? Give me a second now. i got to get rid of some of this stuff here. We are doing, um, and I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, um, I'm calling this a Z-fold ATC card because it has that Z you know, Z, kind of a fold. There's other Z fold cards too, but this one's a tiny one. It turns into an ATC and you can put it into pocket letters and stuff. It's super fun, really quick. I use my six by six paper pads to do it. You typically, but I'm gonna use some of the paper that we made last night in our uh, bringing in the New Year's crafty style live stream. And I've already cut some of my paper. So I've got enough to make, I think four of them. But I want to give you the measurements first. So how you want to cut your paper before we get started is you want it five inches wide or long, however you look at that, five inches here. You know what, I should probably use a darker marker for you guys. And bring you in just a tad. So let's get these, let's get down uh, all of the directions first. So you have a five inches on one side and then this other side is three and a half inches. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to score at one and one quarter and two and a half. And don't worry, I'm going to darken these in for you real quick here. And I'm going to also write these down. And then we're going to do it again because I'm going to make one along with you. This one's just our template. So these are two score marks. This one is at one and one quarter. And this one is at two and one half. And all of the measurements are in inches. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that there for a moment. Um, I want to check in and see all the other people that have joined us today. Ms. Martini Girl is here. Oh, ladies and gents, we've got Jason here today. Thanks for joining us. Sue, Diane, thanks for coming. Donna, Janice, Mary. Oh, hey, Mary. I'm glad you're here. Kimberly, Lisa Sharp. Oh, my gosh. Lisa's from all the way from Scotland. Welcome. And Brenda Lodge. Brenda, I'm, I'm, I'm excited when I see her because uh, it took us a little bit of time to help her get in here, and now she can actually use the chat and everything. It's super cool. So if you didn't have a chance 
Um, or if you're coming in just now, here are all the measurements, super, super simple, really quick, probably won't take us the whole hour, um, but I'll make a few of them. This is a piece that we made last night on the ringing in the new year crafty style. And this is a technique that I'd never tried before. I think it turned out really pretty. I'm going to use this to uh, decorate my first card. So cut your piece down five and five inches by three and a half inches and do two score marks at one and a quarter and two and a half. And I'm going to walk you through that one more time as I create this one. I've already cut mine at five by three and a half and I'm going to go ahead and do my scoring which was one and a quarter and two and a half. Two and a half is the halfway mark because if we literally folded, folded this in half you would have an ATC because it's two and a half by three and a half and that's how big an ATC card is. An ATC card for those of you who, who don't know um, is an artist trading card they're little cards that you put together, um, they don't take a lot of time, and then you trade them with other people. Not to be confused with other little cards, ATC cards should never be sold. They should always be traded. We got into a whole talk about that on another live stream, so if you're interested in that, you can go back and look for that one. Um, I want to pull out just a couple of, uh, while I'm thinking of it, a couple of other ATCs that I have here so that you kind of have a gist of what I'm talking about. So here's a little ATC. This one was actually, it's pop dotted with some foam tape to give it a little bit of a dimension. That, one, that one's kind of cool. I've got tons of them. Sometimes they go off of the entire um, two and a half by three and a half. So this, this one goes off the edge. As you can tell, I made this one. Um, it wouldn't fit in a regular uh, pocket letter, which is a baseball card kind of collecting sheet. This one wouldn't fit, but this would make a cute card front. It's still an ATC. It just kind of goes off the, um, the exact measurements of what an ATC should be. You could take things from online and print them off in ATC style. <laughs> Sometimes a mom just needs a five-minute break. I'm not a mom, but I can I can totally feel for you, all you mothers out there. This one is super cute. I don't think I made this one, did I? Oh, I guess I did. I don't recall making this one. This is a this is an elephant that somehow was embossed on top of some stripy paper. I don't know. It's interesting. Anyway, I've got a whole bunch more of those. Um, if we want to see more at the end. But if you've already got one of these made, I'm going to back out just a tad and we're going to decorate this up. Now the, in, the measurements of this are very simple. Here are two that I've already made. I think I just did show you that. This one opens up sideways. I love this one because I used this paper from a paper pad. And as soon as it clears up, you'll be able to see what it says. And maybe it won't clear up today. There it is. It's the little things, 100% cute. And it's a little birdie, and that's why I chose that. Super cute. That used the same paper paper pad. It was the 6x6 six six paper pad. The same 6x6 six six sheet had another little birdie, but it was going the other way. And so I put it on, you know, going up and down. So this one actually opens up this way. So you can get creative and make them all uniquely your own. And the measurements for covering them up, those little um, extra pieces are really super simple. I'm going to show you how you do it. Now if, you, if you're measuring across there, you can see that it's longer than an inch. But if you want a white border around it, you make it one inch wide. And this one is not a good measurement either. It's, do you see how it falls here? Almost at three and a half. So instead of doing that, you're just going to cut it at three and a quarter. So there's a white border around the whole thing. So we're going to go one inch by three and a quarter. And that's going to cover this panel right here and this panel right here. One inch by three and a quarter. I'm going to write that down on here. This is going to make a panel that covers your card, right? Like this. 
It's one inch by three and a quarter. Oh, people are asking if you could do a Z fold card for the challenge versus the, an ATC fold, AT, uh, Z fold ATC. I, I'm open to any, either one. It doesn't matter to me as, as long as it's got a Z fold in it. We'll be flexible this week, totally flexible because um, it's such a busy week. You know, if you, and if you have more use for an a, a Z fold card versus a tiny little ATC, you know, do what makes you happy. ATC, regular ATCs that I showed you do not normally have folds in them. But I have made them where I have folded my ATC completely in half like this and made, te made teeny tiny cards out of them. Okay, and decorated it. And that way you can still use it as an ATC and it'll still fit inside of the little baseball and the pocket letter pockets. And then when they pull it out, it goes like that. But this one actually has two folds. So this one is literally going to open. You'll slide it in your pocket letter like this, but when they take it out, it's going to open up. So you could um, put a piece of acetate on this one and wrap washi tape around it and hide it, and they wouldn't see it. And then when they opened it up, they would see the washi tape there. I just think that would be a really fun idea. If your video is freezing, guys, um, try backing out and then coming back in. Okay, so that um, measurement of one inch by three and a quarter, that will cover this panel and this panel. They're both the same size. And then of course the last one is exactly two and a half by three and a half, which is an ATC size. So we're just gonna cut that down by a quarter. I'm gonna draw this in with pen. This is gonna make um, a little panel that's going to cover your card around like that. And we're just going to cut off a quarter. So it's going to be two and one quarter by three and one quarter. And all we did was cut off a quarter of an inch of that measurement so that there'll be a little white border around there. So if you want to, at this point, if you're watching the archive, uh, take down these measurements. If you're following along right now, real time <laughs> with the live stream, you can go ahead and write down these measurements, maybe draw in a little picture of this. And if you need these measurements later on, I'm just gonna set this to the side and we're gonna start cutting some of the pieces and we're gonna decorate this one that I've gotten started here. First thing I'm gonna do is decorate this one. I'm gonna decorate it fully with this whole piece of paper because that's just, I just really love it. I think it's fantastic. So I'm gonna move this out of the way, bring in my cutter, and remember, all of our, maybe I can put this in here so you guys can still see it. If I back out, you can. I'll back out some. Okay, so all of our measurements are up here. They might be slightly blurry to you, I'm not sure. But I need one and a quarter, I'm sorry, one inch by three and a quarter. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut mine at an inch. And then I'm going to cut the three and a quarter. All right, and that's going to be a panel that sits right like that. Super pretty, huh? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that panel here. I'm going to leave this one white so I can write something in here if I want, and then I'm going to put a panel on here. And let me grab my ATG gun. That's what I want to use today. Or, no, yeah, let's, let's just use wet, wet glue. I got wet glue right here. Since these are such tiny little spots. We can get a, we can get along with using the wet glue. So those of you guys who uh, weren't on live stream last night, tell us what kind of fun things you got yourselves into. I would love to hear about it. I haven't been out and about um, for a New Year's Eve in I don't know how many years, and I don't I don't miss it. 
But while we're making this, I would love to hear some stories about some fun things that are out there. What are some fun things that um, adults can do during the new year that are really interesting? Any kind of parties. Now I'm going to cut this one, which up here we said was two and a quarter by three and a quarter. I'm, I want a little bit of that purple in here, so I'm going to cut right here, uh, two and a quarter wide. And then I'm going to cut it down by the three and a quarter. I really like the top part, so I'm going to cut that part off. And then you can always save these little bits for later on for other little ATCs and projects and things if you want. I love this little cutter. I never thought I would need one. Um, and I seriously wasn't looking for one, but I found it at this place called Savers, which is kind of like a, um, what do you call it? Like a Goodwill or a thrift store. And it was $1.99. And I thought, you know, I think these are like the self-sharpening ones that never really go bad and it works perfectly. So I was super glad that I snagged that. And I'm going to put this one up. You know what's another really fun thing to do is to take these Let's say I had some of this really dark purpley red paper. I'll show you what I mean. If you put it on top of that paper and glue it on top of it so that there's just barely this extra color border around it, just this tad, I mean, it's gotta be real tiny. Then you could put it on and you'd have a double, a double layer on here and that would give it even more dimension and that would be super fun layering things up always makes things look a little bit more fancy that's my opinion <laughs> jason said i stuffed my face with pizza with ranch and chicken wings and watched all the new york shows i heard uh through the grapevine and through online and stuff that Mariah Carey did a, a real, I don't want to swear, she did, she did a really crappy job. I don't know what the crappy job was. I have not seen it. Um, one of the headlines said something about her lip syncing something. I don't know if that was all it or what. I don't really follow that kind of thing, but when it's all over Facebook, I can't help but notice it. Stamp Girl says she's lo she loves to layer. Yes, layering is something I'm learning a lot about. Oh, Catherine said it was snowing there. She stayed home. She wasn't feeling that great. Sorry to hear that, Catherine. Well, hi, Sandy. She stopped in to say hi. She's out outside watering the yard. Where do you live, Sandy? Because where I live, this is the frozen tundra, basically. Oh, look, when I put this together, it looks like it was supposed to be there, almost like this came out from that flower. How cool is that? I didn't even notice that. I didn't do that on purpose. I love the way that turned out. I'm leaving this white because I want to be able to write a little message on here. And then I can slip this into um, a little envelope and then I can, I can send this to somebody at work. I love to just leave little things in the mailboxes for people where I work because they don't know it's coming and it makes their day. Oh, so she did lip sync and it was really bad. She was totally off. Why why lip sync when you when you have such talent? I don't understand that. Oh my. Oh my. Serendipity. I'm, oh, I've got a couple more. So we're not done. And then if you guys don't mind, since this is such a quick little project, I'll make a couple of envelopes for these using my envelope board. I'm not sure that you guys all have the envelope board, so my apologies ahead of time if you don't have that. Um, I used to have a real quick way. I'm not, I'm not super prepared for anything besides this, but I'll see if I can't find um, a way for you guys to create a really simple envelope just using some paper. Um, if you don't have a, a envelope making tool. I mean, there's all kinds of easy ways to do it. They just don't look like true envelopes, maybe in the sense that you're thinking. 
but now let's take, um, you know what, let's just go ahead and just do this one too. One and a quarter by two and a half if you're um, behind us or if you're just joining. It's a five and a half by three and a half sheet of 110 pound white cardstock. And we're just scoring it at one and a quarter and two and a half. And that way when you do a mountain fold and then a valley fold, it comes together like a little Z. And hence the name Z fold ATC because it's exactly the same size as an ATC once it's all folded up. It just has this fun little extra bing bing. I just love the way that comes out. Bing bing. So anyway, now we've got two more that we can decorate and then I'll show you some fun ways to do um, an envelope. I've got a little bit of extra left over. So y'all know this is going to be for Wednesday's five minute card. I hope you join me for that. That'll be in two days. Two, no, what is today? Wednesday? Three days. My apologies. Three days. I have some other paper that we did last night. This is one that we did with Brusho. Brusho is a uh, watercolor uh, medium, but it's powdered. The other one is called Color Burst. I had to look at my notes. I want to do I want to do one in this because I think this is really pretty. So our first measurement, and I'm looking over here at our notes. So if you've come if you've come in late or you're missing it, um, go ahead and take a photo photo of this. Pause it. Write it down. Uh, these are the panels, the ones that have the little rectangles in here, and the other you know the little written in ones. And this big five and a half, and this big three and a half is how big your actual card is. So right now we're making panels for this, and the first one, the first two little panels, I should say, are one inch by three and a quarter. So I'm going to first make here, make sure I'm in frame for you guys. I'm first going to do a one inch, and then I'm going to do another one inch, and then I'll cut them down. And I'm, you can move the paper and cut it where you're going to get the most color. So I like the what co the color that came on these two pieces. I think that's really pretty. I want to cut off probably the bottom part here and maybe the top part here. So I'm putting those two, that part to the sides because that's the part that's going to get cut off. And I need three and a quarter left to cover my panel. So three and a quarter and then the same with this one. I'm going to bring this over to three and one quarter and then just chop the ends off. Now, if you want to save these, you can. They would look really cute on a five-minute card. I'm going to throw that in the pile with the rest of the scraps here and save those for Wednesday. And then I've got my two panels for the next card. And the big panel is two and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I'm just going to look at this and decide, like, I really want this part of it. So that's the part that I'm going to go uh, two and a quarter, I think. Yeah. Two and a quarter and then I need three and a quarter and I really want that blue so I'm gonna I really do want that blue I'm gonna save it so I'm gonna put the opposite end out kick that over to three and a quarter and cut the um, end off that's not quite as colorful I'm not saving that piece it's way too small and then we'll decorate this one with these pieces that we have I'm going to decorate all three of these. I can always put on a white circle or a white square over the top if I want to add a sentiment. You can deck these out. Um, always make your art uniquely your own art. I don't always fully finish things in my videos, and I tell you guys that a lot, because I'm not here to tell you what to do with your art. I'm just giving you ideas. You know, try this. This is fun. This is how you make it. This is the base. You take it from there. Use your imagination. You are the great artist here. I just kind of tell you what supplies to use and I get everyone's advice along the way and I learn as much from you guys as you learn from me. I'm using uh, 110 pound cardstock today. White Nina that I order online from Amazon, just in case people are wondering what kind of cardstock I'm using. You'll find out that I use almost predominantly 
110 pound white Nina cardstock, always. Um, or recollections, or whatever's on sale. I have to turn off my keypad on my back, man. I'm starting to get really warm in here. But darn, that feels good on the back. And then this one is the one that I want to put here. I'm wondering if I should put the purple up on the top. Yeah, that looks really cool. My paper is a little bit warped, so what I'm going to do... Let me just bring this over here. I'm just going to slide this on the table like this until I get this to curl back the way that it should kind of be. There. It takes a little bit of the curl out of the paper when you do it that way. That's a little trick for me. And make sure I get this back the way it was. And then I'm going to glue this one down. We added a lot of water to this paper last night, so it really warped. The glue should be able to hold it down. If it's not holding, then try to use your red line tape, um, your double-sided adhesive tape, the really, really strong sticky stuff. Thanks, Kathy. Um, so my YouTube channel that you're on right now is entitled Jen Evers. That's my name. And I always say, hey, crafters, welcome. No, what do I say? Hey, crafters, it's me, Jen Evers, from Quality Crafts. Because Quality Crafts is on, um, Quality Crafts is on Facebook. And we welcome, to, we welcome you to join. We, we'd love to have you. Once you join, then you become part of the Quality family. And it is a non-commitment, non-drama group where you can hang out and be inspired and inspire others by opening up an album and placing all of your beautiful artwork in it so that we can see it and um, take ideas from each other and create really fun things together. If you have a very sparse profile, if you have no profile picture, if you have no friends listed or a brand new profile, or you're from outside the country, uh, we're in the U.S., and it just looks odd to us for any reason, um, we will not approve you right away. We will try to get in contact with you to make sure that you are um, a crafty person who really does want to enter the group because we want to make sure that people are not being added if they don't want to be added. We also want to make sure that nobody's coming in and, and spamming or scamming you in any sort of way. Angela, welcome. She says, hello, Jen. Happy New Year from Puerto Rico. My whole family is watching you. <laughs> Thanks, Angela. Isn't this one pretty? I love this paper that we made last night. This is amazing. That was the watercolor uh, paper that we did with the, mine are called brushos, but you can also get stuff called color bursts. It's a powdered form of watercolor, so you sprinkle the powder on, and then you spray it with water, and it just goes poof, like a firecracker. It's really, really amazing. I have another sheet of it I'll show you right now real quick. This one, I really, really, I put on way too much powder, and it really kind of muddied over here. But cool, huh? It's really neat, really neat stuff. So we've got one more to go. It's this one. Now, like I say, these are, I'm just covering these and giving you the dimensions to do so. All right. You can go ahead and put um, another little thing over the top. Like I said, you can wrap washi around here. You can hide stickers or bling in here if you want, if they're not really, really tall. Um, add a butterfly or a heart or make these into little mini Valentine's Day cards for your kids at school. They're so super quick and so super, super cute to put together that you can make these for anything. Brighten somebody's day. Take a handful to a, um, a retired place or a school or a place of, take it to your bar barista. Barista? What do you, how do you say that? I don't drink coffee, but I know a lot of you guys go to Starbucks. Hand these little cards out to people at Starbucks and say, hey, you know what? I appreciate you. Why not? Make the world a happier place. Now let's try to use one of the ones that we did with our jelly printing that we did last night. I did a lot of orange, and I did some that were a little bit purple. These are real shiny because they were made with Martha Stewart 
pearl paint. Lorraine says you can also get magenta nuance. I don't know what that means, what you're referring to. It sounds cool. Um, let's go with this one. Let's use this purple and green. If you get real close, you can see a lot of the texture that got put into that. In real life, it's quite stunning. These parts right in here, they almost look like little ropes. I'm going to cut this one down to our, our measurements here. Oop, hello, come back to us. Um, one inch by three and a quarter. So first I'm going to do is cut off my one inches. Again, I'm going to cover this one with the whole thing. So I'm going to do two at one inch. And then I'll cut it down to the three quarter. And I'm gonna do the last one at the same time. So the next one is gonna be two and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I'm gonna do two and a quarter right away. And then I'm gonna do the three and a quarter. So I know this one's gotta be three and a quarter. I'm just gonna tilt it and cut it off. And then these two had to be uh, one inch by three and a quarter. So I'm gonna decide which ends of these Boy, they're, just, they're being a pain in my butt. Um, which ends I want to cut off here? I'm going to cut off these ends. So I like the interest of what's on the other side. So three and a quarter. I'm going to put these both in together at three and one quarter. And then cut those pieces off. And I will save all of this extra stuff in a pile for Wednesday. So I should have two pieces there. Now, just for fun, another thing that you can do is um, you can corner round things. Maybe I want to bring you in just a slight bit so you can see this a little. I'm going to just corner round these. Mine is a tiny one inch, um, one inch, one quarter inch quarter rounder. So as you can see, it does little, little teeny corner rounders. Um, most of the regular ones on, on the market are a half an inch. I like this one because it, it's very subtle. I use them both a lot, but because these are such tiny little pieces, it's really nice to have the quarter inch rounder. I'm gonna do that to all three pieces for this one. And then I'm gonna, I think I have some purple to show you uh, how to do that background. I think that would be really cool. Let me look. Let me snag my purple real quick. So I bought a bunch of paper at, where was I? Joann's. It was on sale. So it's this one. They were on sale for six for ten dollars. So it was like a dollar sixty seven for fifty sheets. And you could do white. Um, a lot of them were like this where it comes with all of these different purple colors. So I'm looking at this going, you know what, that light, that light purple color on the top right here, that goes really well with this. I think I'm going to do um, a matting of that. I'm going to pull out a darker one too and hold it up to that and see how that looks. So here's a darker color. We could put the darker color. Let's try that. Let's do a real contrast. So here's our purple. I'm going to pan out here just so that you can see the whole process. And because we only have a quarter of an inch around where this is going to fall. I'm going to show you this really quick. Do you see how much white we have around that edge? It's not a lot. Okay, it's about a sixteenth of an inch, I think. Quarter of sixteenth. Anyway, so when you put these down, I, I want my ATG for this. This is going to go a little bit quicker. Um, 
you're going to want to make sure that you glue these down on your purple or you know your background color very very close to the edge just so that a tiny bit is sticking out and i'm going to show you that real close so you can see what i'm talking about there is not much there okay there's just a teeny tiny bit around that and then all you have to do is just cut around it i'm not going to use a regular cutter i'm just going to use my my scissors and just eyeball it and so you want to cut as straight and as close to it as you can by all means use a trimmer i mean i've just done this so many times that i know that i can do it in a fashion that is going to be fine enough for me okay and so then that's what you end up with and then when you put it on your card make sure that i got this going the right way you still have a white border around it but then you have the purple and then you have the pattern paper now if you made the purple a little bit wider you could do that you can just cover up that white one but i really like the look of that i think it looks super cool so i'm going to go ahead and just tape that down inking the sides would be really cute too i love that idea who said that it is what it is Inking the sides of your paper gives it a lot of dimension. It makes it look really fancy too, for sure. It'll give you kind of the same same look as this as well. I love it when you guys can join me in here and you can chat with one another and bring up those kind of ideas because there's no way one artist, namely me, when I'm doing these, I can. There's just no way I can give you every tip and trick in the book in one video. And so it really helps me when you guys share ideas with one another because then I learn too. I learn a lot of new stuff from you guys. It's super fun. So this afternoon, um, I don't know if you guys were on, whoever was on with me last night, ringing in the New Year Crafty Style on my live stream. If you missed it, you can go back and look at it. It was archived on my channel. Um, whoever was there, afterwards we Skyped. That was really fun. I think we had up to 10 people in there. We were shooting for 25 just to be just for fun because it says you can get up to 25 people in there, but we didn't make it. Um, what, I, uh, what I'm going to do with my afternoon is I'm going to relax and play. And if you were in, and the reason why I ask you, if you were in last night, you would already know that my good friend Sandy Bell Hensel, she runs a group called, I always forget, Scrapbook Blessings Club. And that is on Facebook as well. If you go over to Koality Crafts, you'll be able to find her group. There should be a link there somewhere. Um, if not, ask me, PM me if you want to get on, in on this. She's got five or six different challenges that you can enter. You have all last night and all today to enter it, and she's giving away prizes. I love winning prizes. Who doesn't love winning prizes? So I'm going to take some time and just play and create some of the things that um, she's giving out prizes for and then enter all of her challenges. And I would love to have some of you guys join me on Skype and do the same thing where um, there's no expectation on Skype. You just show up. You don't have to speak if you don't want to. You don't have to show your face if you don't want to. You could just listen. It's a lot more fun if you show your face, though, I mean, because you can read a lot more from a person using their facial expression and body language. Um, but my whole point is that it would be really fun. We could do something relaxing. I will not be teaching anything. We'll just all be hanging out, pretending like we're in the same room, only the best part out of it, of it is that you can eat if you want, you can scrapbook if you want, you can craft if you want, you can just sit there and pick your nose if you want, although turn off your camera if you're going to do that because really no one wants to see that. <laughs> and you can use your own restroom. You don't have to borrow somebody else's. You can drink your own drink and you can sit around in your PJs. doesn't get any better than that. So I really hope that some of you guys will join us for Skype after this live stream ends. I want to
to give a big, big thank you to um, all the all of you guys who blessed us, uh, especially blessed my partner Kathy, who I couldn't do all this without her. She runs all of the swaps and she helps me with all the files and everything <clears throat> over on Facebook on the Quality Craft site. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of our hearts for those of you who sent cards and stamps or um, in lieu cash in lieu of us being able to buy stamps because if you're in the group and your name and address are in, here's how this one turned out, I, and your name and address is in the birthday file, we actually, between she and I, make all the birthday cards and we send you a birthday card. Um, she also does all the drawings for the um, challenges each week that run at Quality Crafts from Sunday to Sunday. We usually post what the next one's going to be the Saturday before, just so you know what it is, just like this weekend. So yesterday I posted what it was, and then today is Sunday. We have a live event. I show you exactly how to make it in case you don't know the technique or you want to see, you know, some other ways of doing it. And then um, Kathy does takes care of pulling somebody to win a prize. She pays for all of the prizes. She pays for all of the postage to send those prizes to you guys. And, um, and so we really, really want to let you know that starting out in the year 2017, we're grateful to everyone who donates and um, helps us out with that. Thank you, thank you so much for that. Her address, my address, and our emails if you need to get a hold of us or if you want to IM us on Facebook. Um, I've been on vacation, so I've been really easy to get a hold of this past week, but that's going to be disappearing very shortly. I'm going to be going back to my regular full-time job. Kathy uh, has health issues. She has her granddaughter's lot, but she's available a lot during the day. I can answer questions during the day um, if they're general and because they come to my phone, but I can't um, look up information and help you edit files and stuff typically during the day when I'm working. But I will answer your PMs if you, you know, if you IM me. I don't know who won last night yet. But I will let you guys know. Oh, hey, Donna, that's okay. She said, sorry, I'm late to the dance. I'm scrap away. Fine, excited she finally caught a live show. Okay, so here are the ones that we've made so far. These are the two that I made ahead of time. I embossed this one, so that's why there's lines on that paper. And I embossed this into that the side of that one. And then this was another one that I had done ahead of time. And I made this in a, um, it just goes a different way. Okay, it's uh, horizontal versus vertical. And here are the ones that we made today, if you're just coming in. We used paper from last night. So this was some of that technique paper we made from last night. I left that white because I want to put a little um, note to somebody in there. This was using uh, what I have is called brush-o, but you can also get something that's called color burst. I keep looking off to the side because I forget that it's called color burst because I have the brush-o's. And then this one was made with the jelly print, the jelly plate last night. And that's really pretty. And we just double layered that one. So we want to make a couple of uh, envelopes for these. These end up to be, once you fold them up, a regular ATC size card, which once it's folded up together is two and a half by three and a half inches. That's what a regular AT C card looks like. But all we did is we added on a Z fold so that once you opened it up, it was a little bit bigger. So it's five inches by three and a half. And when it folds up together, it becomes two and a half by three and a half, which is the same size as an ATC card. So you can put them in your baseball um, pockets, your card, your pocket letters, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, Catherine, feel better. Take care, hon. I am going to, with the last couple of minutes, just grab out my uh, 
my tool for making envelopes. And I know a lot of you guys probably don't have this tool, but I'm just going to show you really quickly how I would make one. Two and a half by three and a half. So you look down the chart, and there is one. For two and a half by three and a half, you need a piece of paper that's five and a half by five and a half. And typically I use plain old typing paper because it's the most flexible. So I said five and a half by five and a half, so I need to cut this down. dropping stuff all over the place here and it's intend on covering up my cutter five and oh no what did I say five and a half better make sure I'm right five and a half by five and a half all right and then it tells you how far to put it in it says two and three eighths so you mark it into two and three eighths you punch it and then you score the diagonal. And then all you do is just mark up that diagonal with this little thingy that sticks out. Punch it there and score it again. And you just keep twisty turning it, lining that up, that line, the score line with that little thingy that sticks out, punching it and scoring it. One more turn, punch it and score it. And you should have an envelope that fits what it says it would fit, which is two and a half by three and a half. So if I slide that out of the way, we should be able to fold these two sides in and the one side up, and then we have an envelope that fits. And this is what I do. I just take my ATG gun and I run it down the two inside pieces right there, and then I just stick it together. So if we take one of our cards here and we put it together, We can just slide that in and it perfectly fits in that little envelope. And that's how easy and quick it is with that envelope punch. If you'll notice when it does that, it gives you about, what is it, like a quarter of an inch all the way around. There's room. So if you have a card that has something that just slightly hangs off the edge, it'll still fit. So you can keep that in mind, but that's a really quick way to do it. And you can use pattern paper. You can um, stamp on this little white envelope and make it all crazy fun and cool. Oh, and the other thing I didn't point out specifically, um, Diane McMullen sent me this artist trading card stamp. This is physically a stamp, but you can get these printed online if you look them up on Google. Uh, my stamp looks like this. Oh, for those of you guys who keep keep track of my pajamas, I'm wearing the ducks today. I don't know if you can see me past that gun. Um, but this is this is my stamp. So here's what it has on it. Let me just stop jiggling around here. Who it was created by, the date. You can put your address if you want, and then there's a place for your email. Okay, so it's kind of like a business card. It's kind of like for... Um, trading with your buddies so that they can remember who you are and what your art kind of looks like because we all have um, an individual style even if you don't believe you do you have you have a style or maybe you have multiple styles or maybe you're good at a lot of stuff or maybe you know whatever but you all have talent now let's take another piece that's five what did it what was it five and a half by five and a half <coughs> excuse me I don't have, um, let's say I don't have that that uh, folder. I'm just making this up as I go, folks. I did not prepare this, but as long as we've got a little extra time. Um, I don't know how, I, I, I don't have an envelope punch, but I can maybe, you know, eyeball this up and let's see, that looks pretty good. What if I just brought these sides in and gave them a, a push? And just kind of made them kind of toward, point towards each other. And then just brought up one side. Like, would that work? It sort of works. Not as, not as cool as the other one. But it's a handmade envelope. Little kitty wampus. I think you'd want to maybe measure out exactly where it would be. 
Um, another way that I prefer to do it, when I'm, in, when I'm stuck at work and I don't have anything, I do this. I literally have done this before. I stick the card inside of a piece of paper and I fold it over like this. And then I bring down the top so that's like the, that's like the part that's going to come over. And then I cut the side up. Where's my thing? Because there's too much on the, as the, on the sides. I cut part of it off on the side. I did this before one year for Christmas cards because I didn't have any envelopes, but I had paper laying around the office. And then I just put some tape. I taped the sides. I did not have an ATG gun in my, at my work. But I taped the sides here. I taped them shut with scotch tape. So that when these, this one in here, that I could tuck this in. I got way too much tape. Let me just powder this off so it won't stick. And then I stuck it in like so it looked like an envelope. And then you could put another piece of tape on the other side and then you've got a little envelope. And that's all there is to it. That looks a little wonky. You could cut that little piece off. Yeah. But I mean, I've done that before in a pinch at the office. And they don't know any different. I mean, a lot of people that I work with aren't crafters per se. So <laughs> they're pretty impressed with, um, they're pretty impressed with almost anything that I bring around, which is really fun because sometimes I just make things on the fly and they're like, wow, that's so cool. And I'm like, yeah, you know, and you bask in that, like, yeah, they think it's great, but you know that you only spent a few minutes on it. But that's the joy of crafting, I think. To cra crafting to us is like a lifestyle and we love it. Crafting to other people is like magic. We're like magicians. They just look at it and go, wow. They just have no clue how that came together and they're just amazed by you. And I love that feeling. I bet that's how magicians feel when they know that nobody knows how they pulled off that stunt, right? So cool. You know, after everything that went on this week and after having that long live stream last night, thank you all for being here today. I truly was, I had myself convinced that no one would show up today. <laughs> oh, the title is changed, Kathy. Did you um, refresh in the very, very beginning? It should say Z Fold ATC card. Let me know if it's not, uh, I can redo it or we can fix it somehow. Thanks for looking out for me. Um, Mary C says, Jen, how did the covered notebooks go over? I wish I could show you one because I don't have them. I gave them out. Um, I gave them to a gal at work. Let me just set these out here so you're not just staring at my boring hands. Although I did do my nails and they're quite fabulous. Deanna suggested I use regular glitter. Um, so I did, and this is the glitter that I used. I literally used Recollections glitter. I know, will it get clear? Yeah, extra fine. That extra fine glitter, that's what I used to uh, put over the top of my nails this time. They turned out really cool. So I forgot what it was that I was, that I was gonna go on about. But here. These are, I always forget that I, my head's covering that part. Oh yeah, the covered notebooks. So the lady that purchased, basically purchased them from me to give to the teachers as her gifts, her own gifts, um, she loved them. She thought they were fabulous. But as far as her giving them to them, I did not get to see those reactions because they weren't gifts from me. But um, I imagine they probably thought they were pretty cool. I never watch football. I mean, if that's your happiness, go football. But I just, <laughs> I've never found any joy in that, so I don't really, I don't watch it ever.
we've only got a few minutes left and I, I ended a little bit early, which is great. Perfect timing. Um, what, do, what do I need to say? This is the challenge for um, Quality Crafts at Facebook. So if you're not already a member, we'd love to have you. If you made one along with me today, hey, you're already done. All you have to do is find the correct folder, album, not folder. Go to files, go to photos, go to albums. Find the correct album and place a picture of your ATC card or, I mean, your Z-fold AT ATC like this or your Z-fold card, if that's what you chose to make. And then you'll be in the drawing. Well, thanks, Josie. Good night from Italy. Yeah, I don't do sports, period, either, Mayuki. Period. The end. Nope. None. Never. Um, we'd love to have you join in the challenge. One, any, any entries, one through ten people that enter, we give away one prize. Eleven entries through twenty entries, people, different people. You're welcome to enter as many cards as you want, but we count the people. 11 through 20 people, we give away two prizes, and so on. So every 10 people, we give away an extra prize. Quality Crafts now has approximately 665 members. Now, if you're looking for us, <laughs> and you click on, I don't know what I did with my darn poster, you guys. Is it down here? Is it one of these things? I don't know, let me let me write it on here. If you're looking for us, we are a crafting um, community group. We're not a retail store, which is interesting to me that I saw one that's out there called Quality Crafts. But we are literally koala like the bear tea crafts. And you'll see underneath it little icons of smiley little faces of all the people who are happy to be in our group. Can you tell I'm making this up? Not that you, not that they're not happy, but here, this is what it looks like. And then there'll be these little icons underneath it, and it'll say that it's a crafty group or a crafty community. And it says that it's closed. And that's the reason I've already explained in the beginning that we would love to have you, but we want to make sure that people aren't coming in that are going to scam you or spam you in any way. Also, we don't, we are a drama free and commitment free group. So if you're a lurker and you just want to be inspired, but you don't want to have to be required to enter things, there's no participation police on the Quality Crafts page, not page, group. There is a Quality Crafts page. You're welcome to like it, and I post updates on everything that's happening there, uh, but that's separate. This is a Quality Crafts group, and, um, we would love to have you join. There's all kinds of things going on. Swaps are going to be starting um, up again soon. And th they're going to take on a slightly different look. And Kathy's going to update on that on that for us when she's feeling well. <clears throat> she said, when you look for this, the, it will also state like a number here of how many uh, members we have. And it's always behind. It's always like like 50 people behind or something. So I think right now this number says something like 630 or something. And we're, or 634, and we're at like six, I don't know what it is. It's a couple of, it's behind now. But it looks similar to that. So come on over. Make sure that you friend us, Kathy and I, or at least one of us, and start up a conversation so we know who you are, and we'll get you added rather quickly. Okay, Raggedy, I'll do one more one more quick, so you guys can take a screenshot of the measurements. These are the measurements of the card that we did today right here. Um, I'm going to put it down so it's not shaky, and I'll, I'll zoom you in. I think that'll be easier on, on your camera, right? There. How's that? So that's the one that we did today. We're, we're calling it a Z-Fold ATC card. Okay, all the other things that um, are going on and all the other information 
And if you want to join the Skype after we're done here and hang out and try to enter some of those challenges or just sit around and chat with some fun crafty ladies, I'd love to see you there. Um, meet us over at Quality Crafts or private message me, instant message me. And um, I can't wait to see you guys next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.